CAT SOS Services Fluid Analysis may help you identify and get ahead of drivetrain problems. Let's look at how to take samples without contaminating the fluids. Before you get started though, check your operation and maintenance manual for proper safety procedures and always wear appropriate personal protective equipment. First up, make sure you have unopened CAT SOS kits. You can order them through your local authorized CAT dealer or parts.cat.com. Each kit comes with a sampling tube with cap, a bottle, and a cap for sealing the sample. Keep each of these items in the bag until you need to use them, and make sure you have one kit per fluid you're sampling. Assemble the sample bottle with the tube and cap that goes with it. Next, check your OMM for your equipment's machine warm-up procedure to prepare the fluids. Once that's done, turn the machine off, put on clean gloves, and grab your first SOS kit. Before taking any samples, wipe the cap in the area around it with a lint-free cloth. For your transmission sample, remove the valve cap and wipe off the valve with the lint-free cloth. This is important because any lint or dirt on the valve could result in inaccurate analysis. Begin by draining a few ounces into a waste container to flush the valve and get a fresh sample. Fill to the full mark on the bottle and seal it with the clean cap from your kit. Fill out the label with fluid type, serial number, and service hours. Next, we'll sample the differential, which is not separate on some machines. Check your OMM to see if your equipment has a separate sampling location. The differential is not pressurized, so use a pump to collect the sample. Finally, if your machine has final drives, let's look at how to take those samples. Move your equipment to get the oil fill lines parallel to the ground. The final drives also aren't pressurized, so you'll use the vacuum extraction method to sample the fluid. Following the same cleanliness practices as before, properly dispose of some waste fluid first. Then take your sample and repeat on the other final drive, repositioning your equipment as needed. Make sure all labels are properly filled out and then mail the bottles to the lab. Note in your own records when you took the samples and what the results were. When you maintain detailed service records, you'll be able to care for your equipment throughout its life cycle. With these service records, your CAT dealer can help you get ahead of drivetrain and equipment issues. For more information and support, contact your CAT dealer and always check your operation and maintenance manual for specific instruction and safety procedures.